welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel let's look at, at the hearing process before you talk about the hearing process you need to look at how the ear receives and takes the information the brain so you see this is what you're going to describe during the hearing process sound waves are being received by the pinna then the pinna sends the information to the tympanic membrane via the auditory canal. Then the tympanic membrane causes the three bones, the oscos, the marius, incus, and the stepes, to vibrate. The vibration is being amplified. And the last bone, which is the stepes, causes the oval window to vibrate. The vibration is being transmitted into the fluid or the inner ear, the fluid. So the oval window causes the fluid in the cochlea, that is the perilymph, to vibrate. As it vibrates or as it's making a wave, some of the wave or the vibration enters the endolymph. This is the endolymph. It's called the peri because it's outside. It's called the endo because it is inside. So it's peri because it is on the, the sides, the peripheral sides of the cochlea. So the, that's why it's called the perilymph. So the outside lip fluid is called the perilymph. The inside lip fluid is called the endolymph. So the perilymph vibrates, some vibration enters the endolymph. Inside the endolymph, you have this line which has, which has the sensory cells. So those sensory cells are being stimulated. Some pressure goes through this membrane and then it's being absorbed by the round window. That's why we say that the round window absorbs the excess pressure from the inner ear. So basically that's how you need to explain. Let's look at it. So number one, we see that the pinna traps the sound waves and directs, it, and directs them to the auditory canal. That's what I've said that it, it traps and directs it. So the major key, the, the, the major points here is traps and directs it. The sound waves to the tympanic uh, traps and the traps and directs the sound wave into the auditory canal. So the, 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 the tympanic membrane vibrates. This causes the tympanic membrane to vibrate and it transmits the vibration to oscos. Those are the three bones in the ear. The oscos uh, tries to the amplification and then carry, carry the vibration to the middle ear via the oval window. Then the oval window vibrates and it causes the pressure wave in the inner ear. That is basically the perilymph, but as we saw it. Then the cochlea that is inside the inner ear vibrates and the sensory cells in the organ of coat are stimulated. It means that now they change this vibration into a nerve impulse. And then the impulse is being sent to the brain via the auditory nerve. So the auditory nerve transmits the nerve impulse to cerebrum for interpretation. And then now uh, we can now react according to the need or according to the interpretation of the brain. So uh, that's it. And, and this is the demonstration, this is the direction. So when you're explaining hearing, you need at least to master the part and the function of the ear, then you will be able to understand the concept. Then let's look at some of the questions which they can, some of the questions which can be asked. Here is a diagram saying that give the letter a name. When they say letter, they, the letter which is being given on the diagram and the name of the part that transmits impulse to the brain. So it means transmits impulse to the brain. So you see, you have to be knowing the part and the function, which is F, and then you tell us which name is that, which is auditory nerves. Then allow pressure to equalize, to equalize between the outer ear and the middle ear. Allow pressure to equalize between the outer ear and the middle ear. So it means that it equalizes pressure on the either side of the tympanic membrane. That's the part they are looking for. So the answer is, so it, it's G and then a station tube. Give only a letter of two structures in the diagram of the ear 
that when damaged would result in the following number one conductive hearing loss and then sensorineal hearing loss uh, b and c and b is being uh, caused by neurons it's basically about the senses so it's about e and f while conducting is like a, a, a material which conducts which conducts which conducts the vibration, which conducts the vibration. So it's gonna be B and C. Middle ear infections are a common cause of hearing loss. State one way in which middle ear infection are treated. You can treat it using antibiotics or you can treat it using grommets. We're gonna see them. Name the part of the ear where ear wax is produced, that is cerumen. Sometimes we call it cerumen. That is the uh, auditory canal. Explain why hearing loss is due, due to wax is usually temporary. It means that you can remove the wax and then you come back to the normal hearing process or you can hear them nicely again. These are the, the answers of what we have tried to explain. Let's look at balance, the process of balance.